Hello everyone, I'm Siddharth. Welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to share all the possible alankars that a beginner can work on. And I am going with four note alankars. The reason why I'm choosing four note alankar is because when you think about all the possible combinations that you can have for a three note alankar is only six. For a four note alankar, it's 24. But if you want to do a five note alankar, it goes to 120. So three is at six and a combination of five notes is at 120. And I feel like 24 combinations, which is four note combinations, is a sweet spot, which will keep us motivated to continue practicing. And also we will not get bored. We don't think that, oh, there is so much to practice. So displayed on the screen are all the combinations that I, the, all the four note combinations that I have been working on. All you see are numbers, but not swar. Here is how I assign numbers to swar. Think about sari gama padanesa and assign numbers to it. Sa is one, ri is two, ga is three, ma is four. So it's one, two, three, four. So when you are playing the first alankara combination, which is one, two, three, four, what you do is one, two, three, four. Now you move that one, two, three, four a step ahead, which means now one is re, starting from re. Riga ma pa. After that, you move it further. Ga ma pa da. You get the idea. You continue that. So in the same way, you can practice the rest of the alankars. So just to give an example, let's look at the seventh one, which is two one three four. Ri, ri, sa, ga, ma. Or thirteenth one, three, one, two, four. I hope you get the idea. I'm not going to demonstrate all of these twenty-four um, alankar combinations. You get the idea that how these are formed and how the numbering works. Now. If you want to make this even more interesting or even more difficult, you can combine different combinations. So let's say one, the first combination is one, two, three, four. The seventh combination is two, one, three, four. You can combine it together. So I have been practicing these with tinta. So that way it's like 16 beats and you know, for every four notes you change. So now you get eight note combinations. So as we are combining one and seventh alankara combination, one, two, three, four, two, one, three, four. I hope you get the idea. One, two, three, four, two, one, three, four. Pick any two and make it an eight note combination. It'll be even more fun to play. And if you are, if you get bored by that, or if you want to still, if you still want to increase the difficulty, you can add Komal Swar. Komal Swar takes it to the next level. Bring, as a beginner, practicing Komal Swar is already hard and doing Alankars at a certain tempo will be much more difficult. Let me give it a shot. So that was Rag Bhairavi where uh, Ri is Komal and uh, Dha is Komal. So while practicing, how I am practicing is 
I'm practicing the first four notes at a slower tempo. So let's say in Teen Taal, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The first eight beats. So let me play it with Teen Taal. So that is at 120 beats per minute. So the first time I'm playing one note per beat. And the second time I'm playing two notes per one beat, which is I'm essentially play, playing each note at 240 beats per minute. So in my practice, I have been trying to pick a combination, whether it is first one, seventh, thirteenth, whatever it is, and try to take it from 110 beats per minute to 150 which means I'm essentially practicing it at 300 beats per minute. And when you look at these alankars, 24 alankars to practice is a lot. How I'm practicing this is I'm picking one or two alankars, sorry, one or two alankar combinations per week. Let's say I'm practicing one hour a day and I'm doing it Monday to Saturday. So from Monday to Wednesday, I pick an alankar 1, 2, 3, 4. I try to reach 150 beats per minute. Monday, 10 to 15 minutes. Tuesday, 10 to 15 minutes. I'm hoping that I get to 130 beats per minute, 130 or 140 by end of Tuesday. And Wednesday, I try to reach 140, 145, whatever is possible. My goal is to maintain the note clarity. There's no point rushing if I'm not able to get clear sound. So in the next week, I'll pick another two alankars. This is not something we sit and do for a month or two and get it over with. This is something we always have as a part of our practice routine, just like we do long notes. So if you're doing like one one combination a week in stuff too it will take you 24 weeks that's a very long time but that is fine if you want to take it slow if you're if you're someone who only has 30 minutes a day to practice for the first 10 minutes this is what you can do for a week pick another alankar because the major advantage of practicing these alankars is you will increase your muscle memory your fingers will start moving much faster. And I have been experiencing that because whenever I um, play ala or I'm trying to figure out songs, my fingers are moving much faster. So it is now much easier to identify songs. And by practicing these various combinations of Arankar, I'm able to actually identify different phrases from different songs. You can pick up like just like it is one three two four i have been recently trying to identify a song and this definitely helps it's the asha song from a bombay movie where it's it has a combination of one, three, two, four. That is just one example. And once you start practicing these alankars, you will see that these combinations help you understand the intervals between every note and those various combinations. If you're, if you're frequently listening to songs, you will start noticing these patterns. And it has definitely been helping me a lot. When I sit down to practice, sorry, when I sit down to identify songs, instead of taking hours and hours, now I'm probably able to figure out the first or first two words in like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And that's a major change because four to five months ago, I would have been like, I was taking more than an hour. So the progress is slow, but I can still see the progress. 
and gradually your musicality improves and in when it comes to doing alap this helps in ornamentation your hands move fast enough to create that mood or feeling that you're trying to produce from an alap to be an example <laughs> something like that so the practice like increasing it to 150 beats per minute I really want to get it to 180 beats per minute in the next four to six months but let's see where it goes but the practice of these is definitely helping me in achieving other goals like being able to identify songs being able to easily play alap the previous example alap that i've showed is in hansadhani rag and earlier i was not able to play it but now my hands move pretty easily my fingers move pretty easily and i'm able to play it i hope whatever i've shared from what i'm currently learning is going to help other beginners Please let me know in the comments if there is a whole different set of alankars that you guys are practicing and you find it useful because sharing in the comments will help others to know about this. Thank you everyone. See you all in the next video.